Ocean County Board of Social Services called the Atlantic City Rescue Mission earlier this month about sending a homeless person to stay at the mission. They say they didn't get the answer they were hoping for. For the first time, we started being told that the, the mission was full. Uh, and since we have always been sending people to the mission, but on, you know, on a sporadic basis, uh, it was obviously to us that they were not taking anyone from Ocean County anymore. Atlantic City Rescue Mission President Bill Southry. The worker just knew that we were full and we couldn't take anybody else in. And we were having some difficulties with the community about receiving people from out of town. Ocean County sends a $17,000 yearly donation check to the mission. Block estimates about 75 to 100 people are sent each year from the Ocean County Board of Social Services to the Atlantic City Rescue Mission. Southry says that money only covers the cost of caring for 15 people. The rescue mission filed a lawsuit against the Ocean County Board of Social Services a year ago. The lawsuit alleges the county gave the mission $105,000 over six years to provide more than $2 million worth of care to the homeless sent to the rescue mission. They were one of the counties that were most prolific in still sending people to us. So I will just launch a warning shot across the bow of everyone. Block says there's no documentation to prove the $2 million price tag is accurate, and Ocean County provides over 60 programs for the needy and homeless. We do house, however, and provide some housing assistance to over 3,000 people every single night. So at 3,000 people a night versus 75 to 100 a year, I think the Ocean County is certainly doing its share. Six million flows through the Board of Social Services. Direct appropriation, the county funds them just in county taxpayer dollars is 20 million. Southry says counties rarely call before sending people to the rescue mission. Usually they just put them on a bus. We need to wake the state up and the, the communities to realize that people can help their people in their own communities if they choose to. And he's been told by Atlantic County officials to just say no to accepting people from other counties. Southry says moving forward, the Atlantic City Rescue Mission will accept people on a case-by-case -case basis. But he wants to ensure the counties are examining their own resources first. For NJ Today, I'm Lauren Wonko in Atlantic City.